Hi, my friends. Long time no see. Here are some of my life updates. I started freelancing from March 2022 and about to earn the full-time salary now. <laughs> I earned my first thousand dollars in less than four months. Here, let me illustrate the steps to start a freelancing journey. It is a hundred percent authentic. Let's get started. The step number one is to find your marketable skills. At the beginning of my freelancing, I started to offer services on Fiverr, which is one of the most popular freelancing service marketplace. I also think it's the most user-friendly platform. People listed their specific task on the marketplace, and interested buyers will connect and place orders. So for us freelancers, it is very important to know our skills and package our skills very explanatorily in the marketplace. So how did I start? First of all, I wrote down the big category of the knowledges I knew, such as finance, data, design, video, and language, etc. But the fact is that the buyers cannot shop the skills, but a service. The next step, under each category, I wrote down the specific services I can provide. Here is my example. Let's call it a skill board. Here is a point. I cannot offer finance skill, but I can offer to write a business proposal or to write a crypto article. I cannot offer design, but design a certain logo. I cannot offer data analytics skills, but I can offer more specific things like data visualization, Excel visualization, or Excel dashboard. I can do data visualization via JavaScript. If you still cannot determine what services you can provide, here is my trick. On the Fiverr platform, you can get inspirations by scroll down to the bottom, click Sitemap on Categories. Here is a full list of marketable skills in the freelancing market. You can even print it out, go through, highlight each skills you can provide and interested in doing. To my experience in my 10 months freelancing, I saw writing and graphic designs are the two most popular categories. You can find many successful stories on YouTube about copywriting. Personally, as a non-native speaker, well, graphic design is one of my major categories, uh, but copywriting isn't. So now I assume we find all marketable skills. Let's go to the next step. The step two is to find your unique selling point. You may also heard that freelancing market is overly saturated. Well, in the freelancing market, I can always see many people have more experience and more ratings, testimonials in their account. Especially when you first started, the unique selling point is essential. My first tip to find a unique selling point is check the intersections of my skills. For example, I know data and graphic design well. Which means I can create more aesthetic, more explanatory data visualization for my client. I can even add my finance skill to make it more unique. Cross-matching your skill creates a less competitive market than using a single general skill. Another example that works very well on my account is that I combine graphic design skills and my Asian aesthetics. It has become the well-loved service for companies who want to market to Asian Americans. Be creative. Be thoughtful. You can be unique in many ways. For example, your experiences, your background, and even personality. For example, we can be more of a person and describe how working with us like. Describe your unique expertise and background. Those will make you stand out from the crowd. Just think about it. You can find a unique point many ways. You already had those, and those are your unfair advantages in the market. Furthermore, another point make us unique is price. Sounds like ugly truth, huh? I highly recommend freelancers to start with a lower price, especially since we are a new freelancer and had no ratings in our account. Why should people choose us? The good thing is we can change our price anytime. Once we get more reviews, more experiences, and more traffic, we can change our price gradually to a fair price. Where I got my client. As I previously said, currently I got most of my clients on the freelancing platforms. Most of them are on Fiverr, some on Upwork. I'm also trying out some other method that I can update to later. Here, let's talk about some pros and cons of the freelancing platform. Let's talk about the pros. I think a freelancing website is one of the、uh, easiest way to get started. Those are very easy to set up. You can create accounts and post your service there, and the cost is very little. There are high volume of people looking for freelancers on the platform. 
But yeah, the competition between the freelancers can be fierce. And another good thing is the platform helps us to handle the payment, so we don't need to hustle on payment collection, invoicing, and etc. Last but not the least, it is easy to set up to test out our skills and test out the market and have our first lesson how to work better in the freelancing world. But on the other side, you will compete with a lot of other freelancers on the platforms, especially the people with lower living expenses. They can coat much lower than us. Also, the payment on the platform can be relatively low, especially on Fiverr, which used to be the platform advertised as Filebox service platform. The client may uh, expect a lower cost from you. For example, for many of my projects, it cannot reach the minimum wage in the US at the beginning. And to be honest, we are likely to face with some difficult clients. Uh, that means they want to pay less money, but more work to be done. Last but not the least, the freelancing platform will take a part of our earnings as their commissions. It's about 5 to 20% and usually 20%. So my suggestion about freelancing platform is that you can start to first step here, especially when they don't have a lot of resources, I mean clients, resources at the beginning. So you can get your first client to test it out, to test the market and build your portfolios and testimonials. Currently, I'm also trying out the email marketing method. I already sent out about 100 emails, but only get uh, two replies, and I haven't got an order from email marketing. I also built my portfolio website on my specific skills so that I can showcase to my clients. I'm also going to try out social media marketing, especially interested in Facebook groups and LinkedIn marketing. It's also a good way to find like-minded people in the groups. Another thing I can think of is to talk with the people you already know to find some clients. It can be your past coworkers, your friends, relatives, families. It could also be the shops nearby, your LinkedIn connections, and etc. It could be one of the easiest ways to get clients and collect some good testimonials. Step number four, get your feet wet. So, are you ready? Yes, you are. The best way to learn freelancing is learning by doing. It is okay that you don't know the specific skills to start with, me neither. As my personal experience, we are generating a more and more precise idea as we are putting in efforts continuously. For example, as we started freelancing, we begin to research the market, doing SEO marketing, get different customers, and polish our skills. We will get a more specific and more accurate feeling about ourselves and the market which is actually very fun. We will also get a chance to test out different skills, different clients, and different platforms. And eventually, we will find the best way to work. Currently, as I filmed this video, I already had 10K earnings in total. Though I had more concrete idea on what to do, I still have a long way to go to Twitch and to advance. Uh, let me share some of my personal thoughts. When I first started freelancing, I was like, I want to earn more side money and escape from the corporate hassles. But later on, I find it's much more than I expected. It is more meaningful, have more skills to learn, learn more about myself, and get the feeling of freedom. It also gives me more peace in mind. I think it is a better fit for me, where I don't worry too much about the people interactions, economic downturns, company structures, etc, etc, but live on myself, perfecting my skills with mindfulness. In my earlier years, I also tried e-commerce and I think freelancing is one of the easy and quick way to make money online and even get a stable income. It can be very hard at the beginning, but eventually your hard work will be paid off. We may not be able to earn a full living uh, in the first couple of months or even a year. I highly recommend to start from a side hustle, that means try it out instead of doing it directly full time. Well, I hope this video helpful and enjoy your freelancing journey. I will update every week about my freelancing journey, a productivity and lifestyle in this channel. Feel free to like and subscribe. Thank you, and I will see you again soon.